my dear friends here we are again for this week's video uh, today we are going to speak uh, about some uh, additional functionalities uh, uh, available in the version 1.0.6 of mighty ramp uh, made available some time ago by tutori uh, in my previous video i spoke about the additional changes in this uh, version and in the previous one but i could not focus on this uh, part so let's consider this a continuation of what we have seen before As mentioned, uh, we are going to see some uh, details uh, available in Mightier AMP, that fantastic uh, app made available by Tuntori. I strongly uh, suggest you to, to install it if you didn't do it. If you have a new X uh, Mighty device, uh, uh, including uh, the 20 Bluetooth, Bluetooth, 40 Bluetooth, or so on, Mighty Light, uh, Nuex, Mighty Air, Mighty Plug Pro, or so, uh, use it because it has. Uh, all the functionalities available in the official uh, Mighty Amp app provided by Nuex, but it has really a lot of features that you can find described in, the same, in this same channel. And uh, in any case, if you find it uh, useful, please uh, evaluate donating something to in uh, the GDAP page uh, by Tutori, because consider that his, uh, all his uh, own work is done freely for free. And by the way, to make to made available the iOS version of this app, he is also paying an annual fee on his uh, po from his pocket. So, please, uh, if you find it useful as I do, please uh, consider uh, giving him something uh, to to support him in his job, in his work, because this is uh, completely free and really welcome for for our for for users like us that really like uh, these devices and the possibility to express their their real power. Okay, let's focus uh, on the details. Details uh, I wanted to show you. Well, I'm so showing the screen on my uh, smartphone, of course, uh, opening the app, Mightier Amp. Sorry, let me open it. Okay, here we are. Uh, well, uh, what I would like to focus on today are uh, uh, the um, some uh, a couple of uh, features that I would like to show you. So first of all, I'm going to setting, turning on my, for the in the meantime, our my new X Mightier. So. Let's connect it. You see that they are linking. So the first thing I would like to, to show you is uh, um, something that is in reply to, to, to messages I received from some of you. Uh, there is a small bug, very small. So <laughs> and frankly speaking, it is connected to a, new, to a completely new uh, functionality. Uh, it's not working exactly as expected as being reported in GitHub uh, as a bug report to, to Tuntori, and I'm confident he will fix it. But I would like to give this, uh, to show you this uh, as a reply to anybody in your team that uh, uh, asked uh, for it. I was able to replicate it, so it is uh, only connected to additional functionalities that we can activate uh, with the pedal. So let me turn on the, um, the, yeah, the foot control. Here we are, so let me configure it. If I go in the, in the, sorry, in the parameter hotkeys, there is a, a new option that is uh, volume, this one. Uh, so I can select it. I hope you see it. I clicked here. So that uh, uh, allow to, um, so in this, uh, well, just to give you a little brief introduction. Uh, as uh, if you are not aware, please have a look at other videos we have in the, in the channel. Uh, the Mighty Ramp app, by the way, <laughs> allows the possibility to control your devices using uh, Bluetooth uh, pedals like this one. This is the M-Wave Chocolate, a very inexpensive one. It's uh, uh, worth uh, around $20. And uh, this uh, expression pedal that is connected directly to the, to, to the Bluetooth uh, pedal board is uh, an M-Audio I purchased from Toman for 14 euros. So it's uh, like uh, something around $16. So very inexpensive as well. It was mainly for testing, but I'm using them every day because it's very practical to have them. You can use this one, control the functionalities of the app. So if you're not familiar with that, I'm pushing you to, to have a look at other videos in the in the channel. For, of course, I cannot give you details here. I just want to focus on the on today's topic. One of the functionalities you find in this uh, menu, parameter hotkeys, some of the fun these functionalities are analogic functionalities, so something that has a different value that can be controlled with the pedal board. So you 
from zero to 100 percent in simple words uh, to give you an idea of how it works uh, one of the functionalities required uh, also by me <laughs> frankly speaking to tuntori was the possibility to control uh, the main volume that is uh, always available in the app if you go back uh, and uh, move this uh, there is a main volume that can be used uh, sorry that can be used to select uh, the volume uh, in the, the general volume of the app it's an additional functionality that the official app doesn't have it's uh, only included here and uh, many of us uh, required to have the possibility to control that main volume using speller this way you could uh, uh, select uh, the, the the volume without uh, using your hands uh, as we did so going again to that uh, functionality so here configuration if i select uh, this volume volume out key i can uh, connect it uh, to the device so for example uh, no, you see it's turned down the, the pedal is connected if i press one of these parameters including volume and i move the pedal you see that cc51 so the uh, midi the midi control is uh, change control is uh, connected and you see that there is a change in value that goes from zero to seven f that is uh, from zero to 100 percent in simple words is uh, an, an intermediate uh, value this shows that uh, the different values of the pedal are correctly re re um, identified by this by the device so it is uh, configured as all the other parameters and i can confirm you that one of them most of them so all of them so all the others are working uh, and you can double check in other videos where we configure this one for for different uh, topics it's also possible to invert not, not a problem but i wanted to show you that now it is be, has been configured like that so you see that below yeah, on the beside the volume is written cc51 and the value the, the second value doesn't mean anything if i but I, if i go sorry if i go back to the to the beginning the, to the part where the volume is expected to work you see that if i move the pedal it goes to, to zero and never turn back if i invert it by the way here i have a similar problem because i can for example go here parameter of keys makes it clear it sorry clear it memorize it invert it and see that is something that's necessary if your pedal is working uh, uh, the other way around so let's look at it you see you see the volume i can move it i can sorry for example manually i move it in here zero is not working when i'm reaching 100 uh, percent uh, uh, nothing sorry let's see it goes to 100 percent but it never moves back so in simple words is not working as expected is not going from zero to 100 by the way i can show you that uh, for the rest uh, as a counter counter verification i can show you that if i select this uh, as uh, sorry parameter dot keys and i'm selected uh, to the uh, for example uh, cabinet level and associate it this way okay if i go back and go to an effort chain select the ir so the cabinet and you see that it's perfectly working from zero to max as expected so this one worked also before uh, the additional one volume is uh, somehow not working correctly but i know that uh, tutorial is uh, working on it and it should be uh, I, I hope hopefully we'll be able to to fix it uh, i hope so because it's uh, a functionality that uh, is really welcome and we would like to have uh, uh, working as expected okay well this was just uh, to let you know that i was able to replicate uh, what you, some of you uh, remarked and it's correct that you mentioned that for by, by the way and for now i can move away the devices because now i would like to focus on some additional functionalities that are really interesting in the new in the new system so uh, this bug as i said is not a problem because it was already reported to tuntori uh, but yeah, i just wanted to to make you know that uh, we know it it's <laughs> uh, it's something we we already identified uh, so don't get mad if you find it uh, it's not uh, your problem is something that is related probably to the functionality of the app unless there is something in the configuration i was not able to find myself uh, as well now let's have a look at some additional functionalities uh, added in this version of the app go again in the tab setting so the last one uh, on the bottom scroll down to the full bottom so let's close the volume 
you see that the up version is 1.0.6 as anticipated. If you press this button, Advanced Settings, you will find these two tag, these two uh, buttons that you can activate. The first one is uh, uh, enable um, id mighty plug pro mighty space amps as uh, the description tells you it's only applicable for mighty plug pro and for mighty space i will show you uh, right away and there are this, the first one is id not applicable preset this one is very interesting uh, of course uh, uh, there is only limitation in this one it requires uh, a um, restart uh, of the well, sorry, the, the, the first one requires a restart of the app, not this one, <laughs> my mistake. Uh, okay, let me show you what uh, is going to happen. If you have a long list of presets like myself, this ones, now you can see all of them, none of them is grayed out because not a single device is connected. If I now connect my Nuex Mighty Air, let me connect it, that is different from the Mighty Plug, of course, so this uh, option is uh, related to the applicability on the specific device. Uh, you see that if I go to presets now, I can see a lot of presets, but if you look in particular here, where we have the songs, you see that the, this last one, Scorpions is Loving You, is grayed out because uh, as uh, it is mentioned in the icon at the beginning, is for MP3, for, uh, for so, MP Pro, MP3 is exactly the same name, or Mighty Space is not applicable for Mighty Plug or Mighty Air like the other ones. You see that it makes uh, some confusion if you have different devices like uh, like I have, so it can be very practical to hide it. You see also here we have another one that is only applicable for Mighty Plug. Imagine to have uh, the other way around, uh, to have uh, Mighty Plug connected and uh, be confused about all these uh, presets that are only applicable to um, to, to, to Mighty Air and not uh, to Mighty Plug. If in the settings you activate the additional functionality either non-applicable presets, the outcome is that uh, instead of being only grayed out, they disappear. So now you don't see them anymore. There are no grayed out uh, selections, only the selections applicable to the specific uh, device, in this case Mighty Air, are visible in the in the system. So uh, this is very practical in my opinion, considering that now the application is uh, working with a lot of devices, it's possible to save uh, an unlimited number of uh, presets and you can have them for different uh, for different uh, div uh, different uh, tools for different devices and it's uh, always practical to see only what you really need including if you use it uh, to to browse through the different selection by the way this uh, isolation of the presets from the two from different devices was already present because uh, as you have seen some voices were grayed out and it was not possible to select them unless uh, you had the right device connected also when browsing using the the pedal uh, that allows you to browse through the presets they were skipped automatically so this was working nevertheless it's mainly a visual addition because now you can you can hide them and they don't make confusion to me it's very helpful because uh, i like to have both possibilities because sometimes it can happen that you would like to see different presets also in different devices because i don't know you want to rem to, to to find them out uh, to replicate them for for a different device and so on so there are some reason to have also the possibility to see the not applicable presets sometimes but for uh, if you have a lot of them as i do it's uh, very practical to, to have the possibility to to hide them so given this uh, i know that uh, you can feel very easily the um, uh, the possibilities provided by this up by this uh, uh, functionality let's have a look at the second one the second one is uh, something really hidden. Uh, Tuntori found out, uh, looking at uh, the details of the devices, that uh, Mighty Plug Pro and the Mighty Space that are very similar in the logic. So let me turn out uh, the air and let me turn on instead the Mighty Plug Pro. This way I can connect it. Give me a second. Yeah, let's connect this one. By the way, this, uh, I can also show you again uh, the functionality we have just seen, because if I go in the presets, you see that all the not applicable uh, selections are 
uh, hidden and I only have the two uh, left for, for MP Pro, so they are filtered out. Uh, in any case, uh, um, what, was, what was telling you that Tutori found out that uh, hidden in the system, I'm, related, I'm referring to presets. Uh, if you look at the, the amplifier list, you see that there are many amplifiers available in the, in the system. But he found out that there are uh, five hidden amplifiers that are not visible. I'm speaking about the Mighty Plug Pro. I'm not sure about the Mighty Space. Uh, that are probably that probably the manufacturer decided to hide because they sound pretty similar to something else. So it was a sort of draft because the device has a lot of room for that. But if you want to try them out, it's not a problem because from the setting. Uh, Tutori made them available. So if you press this one, as I, as I was trying to tell you to tell you before, uh, this activity requires to restart the application. So let's do it. Let's close the app. So give me a second. I'm closing it for good. Yep. Starting it again, and it needs to be connected again to Mighty Plug Pro. But now, if I go in the AMP list, you it's easy to see while I scroll it that there are some additions, especially in the guitar amplifiers. So um, honestly, I had uh, I, I didn't had the opportunity to check them all uh, to to find out uh, details uh, and um, particular what uh, what is uh, added by these uh, additional amplifier amplifiers, but. It's again uh, an additional functionality, an additional uh, uh, piece of power provided by the device uh, that Suntory allowed us uh, to to release uh, in this uh, uh, with this uh, fantastic app that he made available to to us. So uh, for today, I finished. I wanted to share with you. Uh, the confirmation that uh, some of the remarks you made uh, were not a problem of configuration. There is probably uh, something that we need to be uh, fixed, a very, very minor one, in, um, in the configuration, so the, the bug report I mentioned at the beginning. But I wanted also to complete my previous video about uh, the additional functionalities provided in the last revision of the AMPS. So again, we have a confirmation that Tuntori is heavily working on these AMPS, of these apps, and uh, uh, it is uh, Mighty Ramp, uh, as uh, maybe I mentioned before, is available both for Android and for iOS. So if you have your favorite iPhone or iPad, you can use it on it, on it uh, uh, nevertheless. And uh, really, it uh, in, in, uh, unleash the power that is uh, available in these devices that are that also have some hidden features that uh, are not even made available by the by the manufacturer. So. Thank you again for watching. I'm renewing the meeting with you and the invitation for, for next week. Bye-bye.